As we approach the uh, end of 2023 and look ahead into 2024, I think it's essential that we take stock of all the evolving trends and what we're seeing happening right now in HR, especially when it comes to compensation, which has been huge the last year given inflation and given a lot of the legislation that's come into play. So Merriman, um, 2023 saw a huge increase in the demand for compensation work across the industry. Our team felt that demand, and I know going into 2024, I don't see that slowing down. So what do you see as being the primary drivers for this increase? And do you see it taking off even more going into the future? Yes. As you said, 2023 has been insane and has been super, super busy and a lot of you know different factors driving it. I would say we still are dealing with residual challenges from the pandemic, the remote work situation with companies really trying to figure out the balance between being back in the office and working remotely. And even if you're working re remotely, but you want to wander around the country while you're working remotely. So a lot of looking at how do we structure our pay based on geographic differentials. And, you know, everybody's just wanting to know what is the best way to work through the different geographical areas that people are living in and coming back to the office. So that's driving it. High inflation of 2022. And it was the employees market and they really were driving everything. Companies were begging people to come to work, having to pay very high salaries to new and inexperienced employees. So they got them in the door. But then that 20 year tenured employee is like, well, wait a minute. And so, and, yes. you know, pay transparency is out there. So trying to really now right size, how do you figure out how to handle internal equity issues. You know, the great resignation was obviously that pressure with the companies. Pay equity going on that whole uh, issue of trying to pay people to get them through the door that has caused a lot of pay equity issues. So it's not just demographic pay equity issues, if you will. That's not even a large part of what I'm seeing driving these issues. And it's really the bringing the lower, less experienced people in there at higher rates than the long tenured, strong employees. So that's really a driver and then pay transparency. All of the state by state as they're starting to require pay transparency and having ranges. When you post a job, having them posted with the job, that is really driving companies. And a lot of them don't have salary ranges for their jobs or a graded salary structure. So getting those tools in place has become really a hot button and 2023 and probably moving forward as well. If anyone has questions or wants to learn more, or if you need help with your compensation planning or analysis, reach out and Mary and I can take care of you. Thanks. Absolutely. Thank you.